there are nearly two million Palestinian citizens of Israel. This is Haifa, mixed between Palestinian Israelis and Jewish Israelis. The party that represents the Palestinian Israelis, the Joint Arab List, won a record of 15 seats in Israel's Knesset, the parliament. That gives them more power than ever before. Power, they say, will allow them to represent more forcefully the interests of Palestinian Israelis. But what is on the immediate agenda? Ousting current Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. The Prime Minister is indicted in three different corruption cases, which presents the opportunity for the opposition to pass a law, if they can form a government, to ban indicted Prime Ministers from sitting in office. This is one of the tools that we can do. Second, if someone will, will call us and will appeal to us uh, to use our power, our 15 seats, he will here demands, civic demands for the Arab community. The joint Arab list may support opposition leader Benny Gantz and his blue and white party to maximize their newfound power, but that comes with conditions. Gantz must give statement that the Palestinian citizens in Israel are legitimate and to have a statement against the racist approach of Netanyahu that try to delegitimize the Arab votes. You cannot go with Gans uh, when he is silent about those major things. Support doesn't mean that the joint Arab list will join the government. They've already said that they won't do that. But what it does mean is that they may support a government led by blue and white leader Benny Gantz. The Palestinian-Israeli vote hit record levels, nearly 98% according to official figures. Firas was one of the people who worked on the Get Out the Vote campaign in Haifa. At the beginning I think it was a little bit hard and a little bit difficult because the, a lot of people in the society didn't, you know, somehow trust the politician, they don't like politician that much. But when we saw the things that happened, you know, in the Jewish society and all the things that they were saying about the Arab society, we, 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 we wanted to, you know, to raise our voice. Right now, Palestinian Israelis feel that there is an opportunity to push their demands in the Knesset, but it's still anyone's guess who in Israel will be able to form a government and when that might happen. Imran Khan, Al Jazeera, Haifa.